And Gigi, I have a washcloth here that I want to discuss with you. Um, and washcloths are used to clean uh, various things. I've used them actually to clean my couch, which let me show you my couch. This is my couch over here. We don't have a light. Let me get a light because like I said before, lights are a great way of denoting uh, color and making videos great, which I obviously am an expert with. So if the couch gets dirty, then we can use a little bit of Dawn detergent, in my case, the great value detergent, dishwashing soap rather, and we can just put just a little bit onto the washcloth and we can scrub in a clockwise or counterclockwise <clears throat> movement motion. Now, getting back to it, getting back to it, I want to show you what I am working on here. This is a red cup, okay? Now, what I do with this cup, and this is interesting. So this is pre-gym workout, pineapple strawberry, and it's delicious. And I just drink a shit ton of it, okay? Now, I need to clean this cup, but we don't want to do it with our hands. We don't want to even necessarily soak it because that would just take too much time. Now, we have various options of cloth right here, okay? As you can tell, we have, and this, this actually, this is the same cloth. Look, that I'm using right here. Can we see it? Where's my hand? Yes, this. And this already has soap on it because I washed two cups. Let me show you. I washed these cups right here and I'll show you how I'm gonna wash this cloth. Give me a second now. Look, this one is torn up, but it really, it doesn't matter. We can still use this. But the problem that I have with this one, it, if we hold it up to the light, okay, you see it's slightly transparent because the grains of the weave have been loosened up. Now that light, as you can tell, is has a little bit of golden tinge to it. And that is from bacon grease, which I will cover in a, another video. There's bacon right there. That's a whole jar of bacon grease. Might be butter as well. It evaporates. Anyway, I'll get into that uh, in another video. Now, <clears throat> getting back to it, we have this cloth, and this is how I'm going to do it. So, look, and this, this is the great value honey. Okay? I put a little bit of water in there, and it loosens the residual honey, if you will. Okay, and then I can pour that into whatever I want. As, but you don't want that sitting too long, otherwise it becomes plastic. And now look, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to set this up right here. I'm going to show you exactly, exactly how we wash, okay? This already has some soap in it, but let me demonstrate again. Okay, so what we wanna do, we wanna put the water on and we want it warm to hot okay which will kill the bacteria bacteria is not always bad but it's not always good okay i squeezed it out because there was some soap in it already now i'm going to take the great value soap and i'm just going to ever so slightly just swirl it around that was a counterclockwise motion to get the soap now as you can see the soap is on the cloth and so i'm just going to do this See, you see, now I take the cup, I swirl it around just a little bit. See, go around the edge because that's where the mouth touched, okay? And then I go on the outside. I scrub the bottom because normally there's bacon grease in the bottom of the sink. So you just want to scrub it off, otherwise it's greasy. And then it spreads, all right? And then we just shove it in there and we turn it, I'm doing a counterclockwise and a clockwise motion, this is good for the forearms. This is, this is how I, I loosen up to work out, okay? All right, so then we just throw that down, right, 
I'll show you where I did that. I'm gonna have to wash, I'm gonna have to dry my hands, but now we take this and we just swirl it. This is a counterclockwise motion. I'm turning the cup upside down right now. Okay. Swirl it again. We pour the water out. Is it clean? Not yet. We take the water, we swirl it, counterclockwise motion, pour it out, okay? And then what we do, before I uh, stop, I'm putting it on the counter, I'm gonna shut the water off. Now, I'm going to dry my hands with this cloth right here, okay? It has a gray stripe. We put this back, okay? And then, watch this. We take this cup, we just, we turn it upside down and just leave it right there, okay? Now, on a side note, and this is very important, you don't want to necessarily wash with purified water, okay? Now, purified water, and this isn't good. There's a little leak, I'm gonna caulk it, okay? Normally what I do, I just hold my hand there. That's purified water, right? You don't need it. Look at the stream as compared to this. Now this isn't gonna wash it as easily, okay? So anyway, and that's a sweatband, okay? It says natural on it, all right? That's from the 80s. Maybe the 70s, it has holes. It's frayed rather. Um, I think that is pretty much it. And normally what I do, I leave it right here, but see, sometimes if there's, you might have noticed that I kind of give it a little squeeze afterwards and it squeezes the, the excess water out so that it's not gonna be dripping down here onto the floor, which I have a towel just in case. And I kind of walk around with this because there's baking grease. Um, but like I said, I'll do that in another video. Okay, and Gigi, I'll see you.